This Mediterranean chicken flatbread is super cheesy and garlicky. It's very easy to make and I know you're going to love it. Let's make some. You're going to start by taking a chicken breast and we want to dice this chicken breast. I am cutting it in half and then I'm going to take this big piece and cut it into smaller strips. After I'm done cutting all the strips, I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut the strips into little cubes. You want all your pieces to be the same size. This is going to ensure that all the chicken cooks evenly and is going to make your pizza easier to eat. After you have gotten nice size cubes, it's time to season this chicken. I like to wash my hand before seasoning the chicken. Once my hands are washed, we're going to season this with some salt, some black pepper. You know I'm going to use garlic powder. It's one of my favorite seasonings. And also we're going to use some onion powder and we're going to season with a little bit of thyme. The thyme is going to mimic the flavors that we're going to use later on in a pizza. Make sure you use some thyme. After all your spices are mixed in, it's time to cook our chicken. I am cooking this on a medium to low heat. You want this to be juicy, but still be done all the way through. So we're gonna cook this low and slow. While our chicken is cooking, let's get started on these toppings. I prefer to grate all my cheese by hand. I know it's a little more labor intensive. However, the product turns out a lot better. When you grate your own cheese, you don't have to worry about it being loaded with chemicals. And yes, I always taste my food. So I am having a piece of cheese while I grate all of it. You know, it's, it's like a reward. It's my little reward. Once all of your cheese is grated, we're going to set that to the side in a nice size bowl. I am using a full pound of mozzarella cheese because I would like my flatbread to be very cheesy. And you know, I am a sucker for that cheese pool. After all my cheese is collected, it's time to cut my spinach. You can put the spinach on a pizza in whole leaves. I like to cut the spinach. It gives me a little bit more to work with and that way I can ensure that all of my flat bread is covered with the spinach. So I cut mine in nice little strips. Now we have to go in with this garlic. The garlic is going to be the sauce base for our flatbread. So make sure you have about seven to eight cloves of garlic. And garlic smells so amazing. It's one of my favorite spices. We want to make sure that we have our feta cheese nice and handy and also our Mediterranean mix. This is dry thyme, oregano, and basil. You can mix this all together and we're going to use this to top our pizza at the end. It smells absolutely amazing. Now our chicken is done. As you can see that it's still nice and juicy because we cooked it on a low heat and it's time to get this pizza together. Let's go. I am using a flatbread that I got from the grocery store. Feel free to make your own, but I bought mine from the grocery store. Now I'm going to put a little olive oil. This is the base of our pizza. This is an olive oil and garlic based pizza. Make sure the olive oil goes all the way to the edges of your flatbread. Then it's time to put that garlic on here. We work so hard on chopping this garlic. We wanna make sure that the pizza is covered. We're gonna go in with a couple of big handfuls of mozzarella cheese. Make sure that the cheese goes all the way to the edges, all right? We love that cheese. Then we're gonna go in with the spinach. And this is where chopping your spinach comes in handy because you're able to load the whole entire pizza with the chopped spinach. We want to season the spinach because it doesn't have any seasoning. So we're going to season this lightly with some salt and pepper. That's going to add some flavor. We're going to go in with that chicken. It smells amazing already. Make sure you load it up with that nice chicken. Then we're going to go in with the feta cheese. Yes, I'm telling you, this pizza is stacking up beautifully. The feta is going to add a nice little bitterness to the pizza that we need. After we go in with that feta cheese, it's time to top it with our amazing 
Mediterranean blend that we worked hard on. This Mediterranean blend is going to add such an amazing taste to this pizza. The flavor is unbelievable. And of course, we got to go in with just a little bit more mozzarella on top. After you are done, you are going to put this in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes. That's it. And then it's going to come out looking absolutely perfect. There it is. You already know we got to top it with a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese. That's just going to set it off. And my personal favorite, I like to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. It's going to add a little bit of spice. And then it's time to slice this up. Listen, this is a personal size pizza, okay? We're going to slice this up into six slices. And this is a personal size, one serving size. Find a nice plate. You're going to plate this on your plate however you wish. And then it's time to enjoy. When I tell you that this is one of my favorite flatbreads, I am not joking. It is crispy. You hear that? You want that crunch? It is cheesy. It's garlicky. It is absolutely delicious. Bon appetit. Let's eat.